Hey everyone, today I have another unboxing for you and I'm really excited because this is the first Erin Condren seasonal surprise box. I ordered mine back in December and I just got it yesterday actually. Um, I'm not sure how often they're going to be coming out with these. Um, it says seasonal so I'm assuming you know once every three months or so um it's not a subscription it's like a one-time purchase and it's first come first serve once they run out they run out so yeah i was able to grab one thankfully um uh, it was 35 dollars with free shipping i did get charged tax so i paid around 37 dollars and change um and like i said i just got it yesterday um so it's supposed to have at least 80 dollars worth of product inside and like i said it was 35 dollars um so let's get into it so it came in this box this box is supposedly reversible um the back cover is just this like um you know regular Erin Condren print on this light blue box um, and it says the best time for new beginnings is now so essentially you could flip this inside out and so this would be the top so you could use it either to store things or give um, or use like to give someone a gift or something like that my box is actually a little bit bent and squished so I don't I don't know how well that's going to turn out but we'll see um so this is what the card and it says welcome to our first seasonal surprise box so the box theme is winter of wonder and it says let the unboxing begin inside you'll find a selection of fun hand-picked items to help you organize in style connect with us on social to let us know what you love about the box what you lose and what you want to see next season and it says want to win next season's box upload an original unboxing video to youtube by january 31st 2017 and use the hashtag hashtag EC surprise box in the video's title you could win a free spring seasonal box and on the back is a list of the products that are included inside the box so without further ado let's get started um, so the first thing in here are these colorful dual tip markers I wish that the card said like um, how much each item was because I don't know if this is on the Erin Condren website yet. All right, I just pulled up the Erin Condren website and the new items are on there. So with the box, you kind of get first dibs on new releases. So none of this stuff had been released prior. So um, you have it in the box first. And then today, I guess they just put the new items on the website and this retails for $15. Um, so there are six markers in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. So they come in this clear plastic case. And like I said, we get six of them and they look like this and they are dual ended. So on one side, you have a thicker marker and then on the other side, there is a fine tip marker. So that's kind of cool. I'll go ahead and swatch these in a little bit so we can see what the colors look like. But we get a pink one. Um, this like nice teal color is really pretty black. Um, orange and a purple and a blue. The next thing in the box is this flare pin and it's these cute little lips. Let me go ahead and open this up. I believe this retails for around like $8 I think. So it's this hot pink um, enamel pin with a set of lips on it and the the metal is kind of like this rose gold color. Um, so it's really cute and this does retail for $8. And they also sent three exclusive folded note cards for Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day. So we have this one with little shamrocks on it for Valentine's Day. And inside it says, or I'm sorry, St. Patrick's Day. Inside it says, Happy St. Patrick's Day. They also sent a little like sticker seal to go with it, which I thought was nice. And I do own a few of the Erin Condren um, like personalized note cards. Um, and I just ordered some new ones recently too. And I do really like them. The quality of them is really nice. The, the card stock that they use is really, really thick and just feels nice. So this one has like some floral patterns in the shape of a heart and inside it says, Happy Valentine's Day. I'm sorry, my lighting is like super bright. Um, but they also included a sticker to match. And the last one comes in this silver envelope. And this one just has like the black and white um, flowers on it it says thank you and inside it's blank so that's really nice again it comes with a matching um, envelope seal and normally if you were to buy like these um, note cards they retail for a dollar fifty each so we did get three of them we also have in here a $25 um, gift card so that's pretty cool 
and I just read the back of the card to see if it was like off of a certain purchase and it's not so it's just $25 off of any purchase so you could spend $25 and essentially get it for free so that's really cool especially because like I said the box itself um, was $35 and getting a $25 gift card pretty much bumps down the price of the box to 10 bucks so that's definitely worth it really really cool I don't know if they're going to be sending um, a coupon with every box that would be awesome because the more reason to purchase one because it's really it you're getting your money back in a way not to mention getting all the fun stuff um so the next thing in here are these sticker sheets and these normally retail for three dollars a piece um so we have one for saint patrick's day here you can see it does have that same like shamrock pattern as the greeting card that i showed you um and this other one is obviously for valentine's day this one says happy valentine's day be mine of course you can use these any time of the year whenever you feel the need to use them but you can tell that this was geared towards um, valentine's day so um stickers for february stickers for march um so that's nice next thing in here is the new coloring book and i did just see this on the erin condren website this is the rose gold one so this is the second edition um the coloring books retail for 12 dollars, and i was actually at one point considering getting one but um the, the prints honestly weren't my thing like i love the erin condren prints and all that stuff but it's just didn't need a whole book of them to color so it's nice that this came with it and like i said this is the newer one so it has some of the like newer prints in it i guess that's kind of cool and i do love the rose gold accents on it let's take a quick flip through the book here in case you guys are interested so um, on the front cover it says this coloring book belongs to and you can write your name on it and then we start with the coloring um so i'll just flip through the pattern so you guys can see really quick i'm sorry my light is really bright it's making it kind of hard to see So that's just a quick flip through for you in case you guys were curious. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not impressed by the patterns. I mean, all of them are, you know, you know, Erin Condren patterns. You see them a lot on the covers and other products and stuff like that. So it doesn't surprise me that they're in here kind of like the first edition. But the, the graphics aren't all that, like, intricate in my opinion. I mean, some of them can be. And then the rest of them are kind of like this. Like, I don't, I mean... I don't know like how boring is that going to be to color this I, that, that's just my opinion you know what I mean it's a coloring book and it's geared towards adults I thought it would be more like detailed um like this just doesn't seem all that special <laughs> in my opinion especially for $12 although of, of course you can make this your own like even if it's a simple pattern um like you can definitely add your own embellishments and kind of decorate it yourself but at the same time i'm like i don't know if i was purely in it just to color the pages i mean it's kind of a letdown to be honest with you so um i mean it's nice that it's in here like i said it's 12 dollars value i personally would have preferred just like a notebook or journal that was blank or had line pages in it i i could have definitely used that a lot more than this so that's my opinion um Next, we have a clip in dashboard. This is a two sided snap in dashboard, and um, I'm not sure if everybody got the same dashboard or not. Yeah, well, on the card it says exclusive floral ink snap in dashboard. I don't really know how exclusive it is because I just saw it on the website, like I said. Um, so, yeah, um, this retails for $4, and I don't actually own one of the Erin Condren dashboards yet, so it's nice to have one. I will definitely pop this into my planner. Um, but this isn't my favorite of her patterns there. She definitely has a lot of really cute ones, but this one's just, it never really like stood out to me. But like I said, I'll still get use out of it. One side has lines. The other one is like a grid. And then, yeah, I guess this is it. Finally, we have some heart gift labels and we actually have 12 of them. As you can see, um, they look kind of like Valentine's like conversation hearts. So they're really cute. Um, and they do say to and from underneath as well. So you can use these for other occasions. It doesn't have to be Valentine's Day. Obviously seeing them as a group, it looks like, oh, definitely Valentine's Day. But I mean, individually on a present, you can definitely use it for birthdays, anniversaries, anything like that. So um, these will come in handy. 
I do think that these are useful. So now I'm going to go ahead and try to add everything up so we can kind of figure out how much this whole box is worth. So like I said, if these gift tags are $10, I'm going to go ahead and say that. We'll give them the benefit of the doubt and round up. But like I said, there's no gold foiling, so I would hope they'd be a little bit cheaper. I don't know. Um, and then we have this coloring book, which is $12. And then we have our snap-in dashboard for $4. And the flare pin for $8. And we have our dual tip markers for $15. And these sticker sheets, and these are $3 a piece, so six bucks. And we have three of these note cards, and like I said, they typically um, cost like $1.50 each, so that's $4.50. And they also included this $25 gift card. So our grand total is $84.50 for the entire box. Like I said, it was $35, so not a bad value. Um, most of the stuff I, I think I will use, except for the coloring book. Like I'll still use it, I think. I'll try it out and see how I like it. But like I said, I think I would have much rather have gotten like a notebook instead or something like that. But really, for $35, I think it's a good value. Um, and this... Um, $25 coupon definitely helps because it makes you feel like you know you really only spent $10 on the box so I think that's really cool you can go ahead and buy something else that you'd want from the Erin Condren website so I think that's really cool um, lots of useful things I'm gonna go ahead and actually swatch these markers for you guys so we can see what they look like so those are all the colors swatched um, and it's nice because the thick side isn't really all that thick so I do like that and this and the thin side is um, nice and fine so that's pretty cool and they the colors seem to be really nice they're not like super super bright but I think that these pens obviously have a lot of ink like I said I accidentally wrote on myself a couple times already so not bad quality but $15 I think is definitely expensive I think you're you're paying for the brand for sure with I mean Erin Condren and stuff in general so that's kind of like expected but not bad so that's it for the first surprise seasonal box from Erin Condren. Um, I am actually pretty happy with it. I think it, you know, was filled with a lot of stuff that I will mostly use. Um, and that $25 coupon will definitely be put to good use for sure. So I'm glad I was able to grab one. Let me know if you guys were able to get one for yourself. And if this is something you would purchase in the future, I think I would definitely give it another chance. I would try to purchase one um, next season when they come out hopefully because I know it's first come first serve and I think these sold out relatively quickly I'm not really 100% sure how many they had um, on the site but I'm glad I got one and it, it's just fun to see what's in here because you guys know I love subscription boxes and you know that I love Planny and Erin Condren so this just made sense to me so overall I'm really happy oh let's go ahead and flip the box inside out and see how that works <laughs> that is what the box looks like reversed um so now it doesn't have like the shipping label on it you can use this to store your own personal things or give it to someone as a gift um so that's that's a neat idea kind of to recycle and stuff like that so that's pretty cool but yeah that is it for the first surprise seasonal box from Erin Condren. Again, let me know your thoughts if this is something that you would be up to purchasing or if you did purchase it. Um, how did you like it? Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will talk to you in my next video. Also, I haven't uploaded my Erin Condren haul for Black Friday, which it was kind of a pretty big haul, my biggest one yet. Um, and I am still thinking about filming it and uploading it, so let me know down in the comments below if that's something that you're you'd still be interested in seeing. But yeah, thank you again so much for watching, guys. I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!